my sweets. What is up? How is it hanging? How you been? Let's do some makeup. First things first, we hydrate. I'm using e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Coconut Mist first. And then I'm going to prime with NYX's Marshmallow Primer. Both smell amazing, so if you get it in your hair, you'll just smell like a peony colada, which is not the worst thing in the world. I'm just going to massage that in as best you can. Just try not to get it in your eyes or your mouth. And next I'm going in with ELF's Camo Concealer as an eyeshadow primer. It's supposed to be a dupe for Tarte's Shape Tape, and I can say after trying both, it is. And it's only like six bucks, so uh, what you want to do next is you want to blend that out. I found a beauty blender works best for the eyes and the under eyes. So next I'm diving into my very first makeup palette. This is Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. Uh, this little dude is almost four years old and it has seen some shit. I'm going to go in first with uh, Pulani and Ada. Using a tapered blending brush, I'm packing it on to get the most pigment I can, and I'm going to blend it out. More blending. Uh, and as I'm applying this pigment, I'm starting with a darker color, and I'm kind of adding a bit of the lighter color as I blend. Uh, and then, more blending. And you blend. And you blend some more, and what I'm doing is uh, using a clean, fluff fluffy brush just around the edges to diffuse the color. Uh, note how I am pulling that color out and up to create kind of a cat eye effect. Take your time to get the shape you want and remember you can always go back in and shape it with concealer or with a makeup remover uh, to get the shape that you want. Now ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for, or maybe it's not, I don't care, but uh, look, look at this color, look at this amazing color. This is With Love Cosmetics Multi Chrome Loose Pigment in Rave, and it looks like beetle wings. Look at that. It's not, by the way. Their, their makeup is vegan, but it looks like it, and I'm here for it. So we're gonna pack that shimmer onto the lid. Look at how pigmented. Ugh. And after um, the top of the eyes are done, we're gonna do the rest of the face. But first we're gonna finish packing this onto the lid and kind of diffusing it out and back into that brown. And now I'm going back in with that camo concealer again under the eyes and blending that out with a beauty blender. I use the bottom of the blender to, to blend out the under eyes just because you get that kind of uh, nice clean edge of the blender uh, that works really well for uh, the under eye area. And then I'm going to go in with my new makeup crush. This is Urban Decay's uh, Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Moisturizer. This stuff is absolutely magical, and honestly for me, I don't even need to prime if I'm using this. And the coverage is pretty impressive for a tinted moisturizer. All that discoloration, all gone. So we're just going to work that around the nose. I, I usually like to put the majority of the product uh, on the outer parts of my face so I can just blend it in um, to the inner parts without getting much creasing. And Now I'm going to go in with my favorite bronzer contouring product. This is Too Faced's Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer. I love this stuff. And if you're going for dewy, this is definitely your product. If you want a more matte uh, finish, I would honestly stay away from the Tinted Moisturizer and uh, Too Faced's Concealer and stick with something like uh, Maybelline's Fit Me uh, Foundation and use a powder bronzer. So I usually contour the very upper cheekbone uh, and on my little nose. Uh, and now I'm going in with uh, the Wet n Wild's uh, translucent setting powder. This stuff is pretty good, especially for only six bucks. Uh, the other one that I use is uh, Huda, Beauty, Huda Beauty's excuse me, uh, setting powder. And now we blush. I'm going in with the Ofra's or Ofra. Madison's Miller line. Um, this is probably my favorite blush. It's the color All You Need Is Love, which is adorable. Uh, now we're going in and finishing the eyeballs using my holy crap super old uh, MAC brush. I don't even know what, what brush this is. It's a flat brush uh, anymore because it's all been chipped away. But I'm um, going back in with the color Bori from the Masquerade palette and I'm packing that onto the lower uh, lash line. And again, I'm, I'm pulling that out and up to again create kind of a more lifted look and then coming back in with a clean, uh, fluffier brush to kind of diffuse that color 
out and down. And again, take your time, you know, making these, these shapes. Um, you can always, again, go back in with some concealer uh, to fix any mistakes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a super fluffy blending brush with Huda Beauty's Neon Orange Palette uh, and that kind of darkish medium orange color uh, on the very edges of the pink. Um, and I find that that kind of makes the pink pop a little bit more and, and it further helps to diffuse the edges there. And now I'm going in with the shimmery pink shade on the inner corners. Uh, this stuff, I think I got too much on my brush because it's kind of, you know, we're getting some fallout here and it doesn't usually do that. Um, but then again, you know, if you want a real bang for your buck with this stuff, you do kind of need to pack it on. Um, you can use your fingers. It probably will give you a little less fallout if you use your fingers, but since it's a small area uh, and I got man hands, uh, brushes work better for me. All right, now we go in with the brows. So first things first, I'm gonna, I, I brush the brow hair up. And then I'm gonna go in with a uh, brow liner. And what I like to do is I like to create kind of a, a straight line going from the head of the brow all the way to the tail of the brow. Um, so I'm not really following the, the natural curvature of my brow because I kind of want to create my own shape there. Um, and I'm not really going into the top of the brow either to really fill it in. Because what I'll do now is I'm going to use that little spoolie to blend the product up of uh, the brow. So it gives you, uh, you get that nice crisp line on the bottom, uh, then you kind of get a, a more diffused, a little natural, more natural look uh, on the top. Now I'm going in with one of my favorite mascaras. This is Milk Cosmetics Kush Mascara. It smells real nice, and I got it on my face. But, you know, should happen. Um, it smells great, and it really gets you lots of volume, lots of, um, of length. Really, really good stuff. All right, next going in with a, a Maybelline lip liner. Um, stuff is like four bucks at the drugstore, and it's probably one of my favorite products that I use. And I am trying to follow mostly the natural line of my lip. I don't want to overdraw it too much. But I do want to give myself a little more shape. And at the bottom there, I am overdrawing. Uh, to give, again, myself a little bit of a better shape. I've got some asymmetrical lips there, so I kind of want to try and even it out the best I can. Um, I'm just kind of blending that up a little bit into the lips. Going in with my new uh, NYX, it's a plumping, sparkly gloss. I love this stuff. Um, it's not too spicy, <laughs> like some other plumpers are. Um, and it, it really stays on your lips really well, and it, it hydrates your lips real well as well. Ah, favorite part of any makeup look, and that is the highlighter. Look how shiny! My favorite part, and that is Afra's a highlighter in Blissful, and it is, I dare say, blissfully shiny. And that's it. That's